Country first, guys. How are you? Very well, Pretty thank good. you very much. Everything so looks okay. good. Thanks, Dave. So do you. Thanks, Joe. Your lovely sparkly jacket. Yeah, you went for and a sparkly jacket. And your lobster pink. It was really cold, but now the sun is kind of was out. Was it's gone now? Well, what I'm I want to start over. with is, um, <laughs> do you remember your first encounter, your first meeting? Yeah, we it was love at first sight. We just we started smooching across the room. You know, <laughs> you see that. Just saw each other, and all that was... the hair on my neck stood up. And then we went on a oh, hot date. This guy's gonna change my life. I took him for donuts and. Uh, what? Where did we? Get? We met. Potted at shrimp. Potted shrimp. <laughs> The nice the good fromage. first date food. Sweet fromage. Sweet fromage. It was uh, fun. Do you know, what, where did we meet? We met at school. We met at school. My first like proper memory of Dave is going Sorry, to my, um, uh, turn it off. My mum's calling. Jeez. Um, my first a lot. memory of Dave was camping. I think camping at Reading. Camping? Yes. Actually, weirdly. Yeah. We went to the same school, but we didn't really hang out, and then. I had a ticket to Reading Festival mm. in England, and so did Joe. No one else wanted to go with him. Who did you go to see? Who did we, I go to see? We went yeah. to see LC, uh, LCD, LCD sound, sound System. System. We saw Block Party. We saw. I saw Dizzy Rascal, and you didn't come with me. I didn't know. Um, I went to see a the band Kaiser that I, Chiefs. Yeah, I went to see, <laughs> went to see the Kaiser Chiefs. Why the fuck? Why did, did, did why you, you know do? at that time of each other that you were into music? Yeah, we used to go yeah. watch music. That was when we became like good friends. Mm. But That's after that, we used to, we used to, we, then we went to watch those we and music together. Of, yeah. Lots of club shows together. There yeah. Was a club in Oxford that we went to. And then were the uh, interests, the musical interests, similar, or are, are they and still are? are I was they... a mod and he was a rocker. Yeah. <laughs> we used we... to beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> Headbutt. No, we were pretty similar. Joe would always be like, "Have you heard this new band?" And I'd be like, "Yeah, let's have a listen." Then, and it's quite cool. Um, he showed me, he played me the Arctic Monkeys. Okay. I was on that like early. One song, they had like one song, and Joe was like, you have to listen to this, it's gonna like change the world. Um, and then we went to see them at the Zodiac, and, and it was mind-blowing. Like, hardly any people. So, so Joe, for, for you, what made the Arctic Monkeys at that time so good? I was just kind of punky and angry, and I was angry and punky. annoying, yeah. <laughs> it was kind of up my street. You know, they were just, there was something kind of organic about it, I think. Mm. It felt like they were doing things their way. And it was exciting. And they weren't, you know, they were kind of a bit older than us, I guess. But they were young enough that I felt like I was kind of on their level. Right. And then was it around this time that you started making music as well? No. God, no. Okay. We didn't, no, we didn't start making music till quite a lot later. We, we, we left school mm. and stayed friends. We kept smooching sometimes. And then uh, Dave, Dave was DJing. Dave started DJing at university and then decided that instead of playing other people's music, he'd start making some of his own, I think, in the middle of the night. And one day I went home to Oxford. We were all at different universities and went home. And Dave said, I've written these two songs. Uh, do you want to be in a band? And I said, I said yes, but I don't know why I said yes. No, None of us had any idea what we were doing. I mean, I, I think you only asked me because A, we were smooching, and B, I had a drum yeah. kit, which I didn't know how to use. Yeah, I had a drum kit. So that was like... I knew who played drums in any way. So, so was it really like starting from scratch that you kind of had to build everything? Completely. From... Okay. Yeah. yeah, none of us were in, in bands before or anything. Was, yeah. So where did the drive come from to, to do it? Where did the drive come from? <laughs> I don't know, it was kind of exciting and fun. Yeah. yeah. I was an insomnia, I couldn't sleep for like a couple of years. So I, so I had all this extra time all of a sudden. Mm. I was like, I'm not just going to sit here and like cry about not being able to sleep. It's just sure. so awesome. So I started getting into like synthesizers and guitars. And yeah. And from, from, from the uh, very beginning to. to when did the first song come that, that you were proud of, that you thought, okay, now I have something that I can show to other people? I don't know if I ever really felt that. I think I was just drunk, so I showed him. <laughs> okay. I was, I was really nervous. He was so embarrassed to sing to us that he had to do it with a blanket over his head and a microphone with a sock on it. Yeah, well, we didn't have any good equipment. So yeah. <laughs> sort of, you know, they have those nice, like, pop shields in front of microphones. Right. We didn't have that. We just had a sock on top of a microphone that we bought from like, I don't know, what's the equivalent of Radio Shack? Like, sure. Uh, it was cheap. It cost like $10. Yeah. 
Mac, that's French. Praxis. <laughs> there is a store in a Dutch Leroy store. Leroy Merlin. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. Oh, that's uh, the only Dutch store I know. Leroy Merlin. Leroy Merlin, surely. No? What? We don't have Leroy Merlin here. What is that this place? Doesn't ring a bell, man. But, um, so uh, when you, do you still have that, um, are you still shy on stage in a sense? Or shy to sing? No, I'm better now. I'm okay now. I, yeah, it's, you know. What, what was the first gig like then? Not hilarious. Not so much, but Absolutely hilarious. It sucked. It, <laughs> we had two and a half songs. We had two and a half songs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, so we played for about seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny. But it was great. People kind of liked one of them. I was really glad when it was over. Yeah, it was petrifying. It was really scary. None of us had ever been on a stage before. I can't believe anyone let us do that, actually. Yeah, we all had really long hair as well. <laughs> I saw this picture of us the other day. Me, you and Drew all had really long hair and looked like, like fat hippies. <laughs> and Ed was the same. Looks like that. So when, when did um, things start to take off, in a sense? When, when did things become a, more, a little bit more serious, serious than a sock over? I don't know if it has. Mm -hmm. Maybe last week? Last week. Finished the record and then everyone was like, shit, this isn't serious now. Um, I get yeah we got um, got signed. That was pretty. There, there was a big decision. So we were all at university. These guys had finished, and I had another two years left. And I had to decide: do I quit university or do, do I, I stay or do, should yeah, I go now? Saying that a lot. Yeah. And that's I guess when I quit university, it felt it felt real. I kind of felt like. It's the job now. What was the deciding factor in the in the decision? In the a decision. Joke. <laughs> yeah. No. I. I was. I was doing. I was going to be a doctor, and I was a bit unamused by it. All of it. I mean, being a doctor has changed a lot in England. It's not. It's not the best job. Were you hoping to be amused by it? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I have for. Yeah. Was it difficult to combine, and, and for you as well, to combine uh, your studies with, with the music that was starting? Uh, no. <laughs> no. I mean, I, I was not really doing that much studying anyway. Okay. And the music was kind of pretty half-hearted up until we left. Yeah. We were just ch chugging along. Mm. But it, wasn't, it, it really genuinely wasn't a very serious thing yeah. until we left university. You know, we'd rehearse maybe a couple of times a month, max. Mm. And we played fun, maybe like fun. two shows. So it was just, yeah, it was fun. It was like, it was, a, it was more an opportunity to hang out with each other. It was and like an excuse. Yeah, we then got a call from a label. And then, then it did Two get... Labels, like a lot of labels. Yeah, it, got, it kind of got serious really fast. And then we were like, whoa, this is too much. Well, so then we decided to finish university and then try again. We were like, if, if anyone actually cares about this, then they'll still be there. And if they didn't care in the first place, then we shouldn't stop university. Because the, what you say is interesting that um, at that point it was just having fun. And if we fast forward now, you're on your second record. Is, is the approach still the same? Is it still just absolutely? Yeah. I mean, the the whole point in all of this for us is to have is to be happy and have fun. And this is something that we get an enormous amount of enjoyment from. And we're very lucky to do it. We get to travel around the world with each other and play these amazing festivals and get free delicious cocktails and food and hang out with you guys. It's really fucking cool. Like it doesn't feel like work at all, and we're really lucky. But we also get to like be creative, and we have a lot of cr like creative freedom, which is a really gratifying mm. thing. So like at the same time as it being really fun, it's also like it is getting more serious. There are more people that we have to, you know, there are people paying a lot of money to come and see us play live. There are people buying our records and spending money. On us, and there's definitely, I feel a, like a sense of responsibility for for that to be really, um, you know, what what we're making. Is, it's important that what these people are spending money on is worth it. It's not just a joke. Like we have a lot of fun when we're doing sure. it, but underneath is something really serious. Did, did, um, did that affect the, the way the second album came together? I don't think so. I don't know. I th no, we had fun. Like we still have fun. Like ultimately, if we made like if we've made something that. I am very proud of and like if no one else in the world gives a fuck about it I will still be really proud of it and that's the only thing that we can go on um, so we we tried to make something really serious and and exciting to us and I I feel like we've we've done that which is really cool